Hi guys, in this short video we can see how to use Google Authenticator on PC, Linux and Windows and then we can see how to export existing accounts to desktop. Here are the steps which we are going to follow and the first step is installing Chrome extension. This is the Chrome extension called Authenticator which is featured and you can find the link in the description below. Now we are going to add this extension to Chrome. Then we will see this window. Now we need to go to extensions and then pin the new extension. Now we need to set up master password for this extension. We need to go to settings, then security and now we can set new password in order to add new accounts to this extension. To add new account we need to open the extension and use scan QR code. We need to have valid web page with QR code otherwise we will have warning. Now we have a web page we need to select the QR code. Once you have a valid QR code you successfully add new account otherwise you have warning. We can also use the pencil and the plus sign in order to use manual entry. Again we have the option for the scan QR code. For manual entry we need issuer and secret. And now let's see how we can add existing accounts. For this we can export accounts from Google Authenticator by going on the menu, export accounts, continue and finally get the QR code. In order this to work we need to have another phone because we cannot use screenshots of the original phone. That's why we need to take a shot with another phone and then transfer the shot to the PC. Then we need to open this image in the browser and we need to select settings, backup, import backup, import QR image backup. Right now we can use this one here in order to select existing accounts. You can use this link here which you can find it in the description below in order to get more details from this answer in Ask Ubuntu. You have all the steps described in great detail and this is how you can use Google Authenticator on PC. If you have any questions or suggestions please do share them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and see you next time.